Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at glacial budget. Glacial budgets. A glacier can be seen as a system with a series of inputs, transfers and outputs. The inputs include precipitation and avalanches in the form of snow and, you know, more snow falling on top of the glacier from an avalanche. Transfers mean the flow of ice, so the types of flow which we're going to look at later in the course are seen as the transfer of the movement of a glacier. And the outputs are ablation, evaporation and sublimation. Ablation is basically the melting of the ice. Evaporation is the transfer between liquid to gas. As temperatures rise, the liquid in the glacier is going to evaporate. And sublimation is the transformation of solid straight to gas. And that happens when the glacier then sublimates. So this is what a glacial budget looks like. We have two zones, the first of which is the zone of accumulation, and I've shown this by having an avalanche fall on top of the glacier. Now the zone of accumulation is found in what we would call the back half of the glacier. The zone of ablation is the zone where basically all of the glacier then begins to melt and evaporate. The glacial budget as a graph. Similar to that of the water budget, which we looked at in rivers in our previous topic, the glacial budget can be shown by how much amount of ice is going to be in the glacier over time. In the early months, we have a positive glacial budget because temperatures are always relatively low. Then in the summer, when temperatures rise, for example in May, June, July, we have a negative glacial budget because there is less ice than there was before. Then in the colder months, such as October, November, and December, uh, temperatures then freeze all the water that has originally then melted from the summer. And as a result, we have a positive balance because we're getting more accumulation than we are ablation. Here are some questions on glacial budgets. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video to write them down. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the different types of flow. As always, thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.